questions for us about the adventure that we're doing right now or anything and we got six questions so we're going to answer them the first question um was about if we had ever thought about writing an ebook about our experience doing this about how to's and things like that and if we hadn't already thought about it if we're thinking about it now and brock's going to answer that question and the answer is most definitely yes we're not sure exactly where we're going to take it or what we're going to do with it. And uh, always feedback from everyone else would probably kind of get the ball rolling a little bit. So if anybody's got any suggestions or feelings or if they think an ebook would be cool or if they would read it or anything like that, totally post something or comment or whatever and let us know what you're thinking. The next question was um, asked what the best couch is. The best couch, like the furniture, um, that we've, we've sat on, on the 76, which is also the Transamerica Trail, and we talked about it and deliberated, and the winner it wasn't is... Much deliberation. <laughs> the winner, go ahead and tell us. Is Zach at Damascus Bicycle Works. He uh, had a couch that he was kind enough to share with us for... Several days. Yes, several days, and uh, it tends to have its own gravity. They really couldn't leave there for whatever reason. Yeah, and it had four cushions. That's really exciting too. And yep, Damascus Cycle Works is couch in Damascus, Virginia. Check it out. It's awesome. Zach's awesome. <laughs> His couch is awesome. If you're in need of a couch and you're riding your bikes across the country, the next question was, um, what do we miss the most from home? And we're going to answer that question in two different ways because it's open for interpretation like if we miss like something from our actual home or if we miss something about being in a home or whatever so um the first my first answer about what i miss from home is my mom i miss my mom the most from home and brock i miss my converse <laughs> fair enough that's awesome and um the other answer to that question as far as like what we miss about having a home is i miss taking a shower whenever i want and we both missed the idea of having a kitchen. Yeah, we like, totally both missed having a kitchen. Like not, not necessarily a kitchen, but the idea of a kitchen. Absolutely. Showers and misses in the kitchen, big time. Um, another, we got awesome questions. The next question, we did, we got really good questions. The next question was, what random act of kindness, sorry, the wind is really crazy here. What random act of kindness has really blown us away? And that's a really tough question for us because we've been really blown away by so many acts of kindness. I think this trip has really kind of like reinstilled like our faith in humanity and like kindness that we've experienced from people, I think. Um, so we came up with two different answers. So what is your answer? Um, my answer would be being invited to the family reunion yeah. in Virginia by complete strangers. That was by far the coolest thing. Like we actually spent several, several hours with the entire family, and everyone was so kind and asked us questions. And wasn't judgmental or anything. They just shoved food in our mouth and talked to us a bunch. That was awesome. Um, there's so many, um, and it's really hard. But like the first thing that came to my mind when, like something that blew me away, was when we were in Breckenridge, um, Colorado. We were getting ready to leave town and we were hanging out in this outfitter. We were looking for a place to eat and we always get distracted by outfitters because they have so many cool things. And um, we were getting ready to leave town even the next day and the owner of the outfitter, without any hesitation at all, when I had told him, you know, we're so excited about this trip, we're taking our time enjoying the beauty of this country and we've really enjoyed our one day in Breckenridge that he said, well, I have a place that you can stay and here's the keys and he I'll asked just if we were in a hurry first. excuse me he asked if we were in a hurry <laughs> like if we were trying to like continue riding our bikes which I'm never in a hurry to ride the bike and he said um here's the keys I have a rental condo with um laundry and showers which is exciting for me and um he told us we could stay there as long as we wanted and didn't ask questions and it was just the coolest thing ever no hesitation at all just I want to help and I think your adventure is awesome and it was just the coolest thing ever um, so that's the answer for that. And then the other question was, what's next? Ah, lots and of things. There's lots of secrets. 
top secret for right now. So we're going to answer that question. We're going to say we're going to, what's next is that we're going to go home and spend the holidays with our family in the Midwest. And then we got another bonus question today from somebody <laughs> that is like really funny. She didn't know that we were like having this little like question answer thing, but we're going to answer it anyways. And she had asked how long it's been for, since for both of us have driven a car. Um, definitely since we had our wedding reception for me in July. And it's October 15th now, so. Yeah, and for me. For you would be the bed and breakfast in Eminence, Missouri. Yeah, in Eminence, Missouri, we were we stayed at a bed and breakfast, and the owner was so nice, she let us borrow the car to run to the grocery store, so I drove then. But every day I want to drive a car, especially when we're going up the hill. I really just wish we had a big car with big engines to go up the no mountains. Cars. And Brock totally disagrees. If he never drives the car again, that would be fine. Yes. So. My bike will be the grocery getter when we get home. <laughs> and our motor transportation. I'll ride on the handlebars or something. Yes. Or whatever. Anyways, that's um, that's it, I think. That's Q&A round one. Yeah, Q&A round one. I hope you guys can hear us in this video because the wind is ridiculous. Um, that's it. If you guys have any questions or feedback, post some comments. We'd love to hear what you've got to say. Go Bye. On.